Hey everyone, so today I'm here with a brand new team showcase. Now I had a lot of comments about this specific team in my comment section down below. Uh, so shout out to all these people that commented. I'm going to be having their names up on screen. And so thank you to everyone who commented. I really do appreciate your guys' comments and feedback. I really take it. And I like to just thank you guys for commenting. Also thank you for 100 subscribers. It really means a lot to me. Um, and I'm going to obviously continue to upload videos as much as I enjoy the game. And yeah, so today we're here with this team. I called it Death because that's basically what happens whenever you use this team. Um, but for the team here, we do have Child, Beto, Fischl, and Bennett on the team. Honestly, I think this is probably one of the highest DPS teams in the game, uh, personally. <laughs> Especially when you combine the fact that if you use these alts and all these guys' alts and all these their E abilities, they all feed into one character, which is Child. And obviously the main DPS of the video is going to be Child again. So technically it's like a third Child showcase, but in reality we're showcasing the team here. But Child is going to of course steal the spotlight because he's going to be the one getting all the abilities stacked on top of him. So if we go ahead in here we can see I'm running the double Electro thing. Which means basically we're going to be having a 100% chance to generate ele Electro Elemental Particles with Superconduct, Overload, and Electro Charge. Now obviously Electro Charge is Water and Electro. Overload is Electro and Pyro and Superconduct is Electro and Ice. So as we can see, this is really, really, really useful um, considering the team is going to be pumping with Child here and Child is going to be applying the Elemental Reactions and it's going to be generating energy back for the rest of the team. So this entire team is going to have their ultimates back up quick um, and it's just going to be, and it, the whole team becomes a giant energy battery, which is really, really, really good. Um, so obviously here we have our Child who's level 80, Beto, who is level 80. Fischl is level 70. Bennett level 80. Now just to go over the quick artifacts here for the, each character for Child. So for Child here is his stats. And then for his weapon, I'm running him with Rust. Or you could use Verdescent Hunt. Those two weapons really, really, it just depends on what your crit rate and crit damage are basically. Um, but I have Rust here because it is a higher refinement rank. For artifacts, I have 4-piece Heart of Depth. Constellation is obviously C0. And here are my talent skills, mostly level 8s across the board. And of course, normal attack is only level 6, well, technically level 7. Um, but you guys get the point. For Beto here, here is my stats. The weapon we're running her with is obviously Wolf's Gravestone. For artifacts, I do have 4-piece Thundering Fury. For maximum overload damage, you can try to get it with the Bennett plus Beto E combo. For her constellation, she is only C1. So it's not the best Beto you can see in the game. Personally, you want to get her probably to C6 or C4 is when she gets really, really good. And here are her talent levels as well. going to be level 8, 7s also. For official, here are her stats. Combine her with her weapon, the Stringless, for maximum Oz damage, basically. Artifacts are going to be 2-piece Gladiator's Finale and 2-piece Thundering Fury for maximum Oz damage again, basically. For Constellation, I do have her Constellation 6, so we're going to be seeing a lot of damage being spit out with Fischl combined with Child. And for her talent, she's got double level mines and then level 6 normal attacks. And finally, for Bennett, here is his stats. Here is the weapon I'm running him with, Lion's Roar, for the extra damage inflicted against Pyro and also the attack percentage to help him with his attack buff on his ultimate. For his artifacts, I'm running him with 2-piece Gladiators and then 2-piece Crimson Witch of Flames. For his constellation, my Bennett is also constellation 6. And here is his talent levels, double level 10s, and then level 4 normal attack, which is just whatever, because he's not going to be really using his normal attacks at all. And that does it for this entire team. So let's go ahead and take this broken team into some events. Uh, we might go against just some random enemies, and then maybe Spiral Abyss, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, this team is going to absolutely destroy, especially when you have all the abilities procced, and you feed it to Child. He's just going to be spitting out so much damage. Uh, he's, he's just going to wipe through everything. So yeah, that's why this team is called Death. <laughs> Alright, so we're here against some random enemies. So the goal is basically is you want to get Beto's Q up. And then Fischl and Bennett, uh, they don't really need their ultimates up. So you just kind of need Beto's up. And then you need Fischl's E up. Um, just to keep that maximum electro damage with Child stacked on top of each other. Alright, perfect. I went ahead and got her ultimate. So we're going to then drop down Fischl's Oz. We're going to switch to Beto. Drop down the Q. And then, as we can see, this damage is going to be absolutely outrageous. As soon as these guys spawn, they're all going to die very, very fast. Now, these enemies are level 85, um, but we are obviously just cutting through them like butter. Um, so, as you can see, 
this this team composition really excels in high single target damage um so basically it just any any high single target damage character in the game is gonna be really really useful um especially when you're fighting bosses which is gonna be most of the game is single target big bosses are going to be the end game content um but it's going to be very, very high single target damage, and that wasn't even with Bennett's ult. So we could add an attack percentage buff on top of that with Vaporize, ult, and just a whole bunch of stuff. And this, this team is absolutely crazy. So since I did talk about high single target damage with this team, I'm going to go ahead and just go against a Cryo boss here, and we're going to see how fast we can take out this flower. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pop this guy. We're going to drop Bennett, and switch to Beto, drop her Q. Drop Fischl, and then switch into Child, and, uh, yeah. That's... <laughs> That's pretty good, if you ask me. Um, but obviously, it takes a while to get everyone's ult back together. But as we can see, when you get the Electro Charge off, you'll be able to charge back everyone's ultimate much faster. Um, so basically... This team is just very, very good overall, and as I can show you guys, that single target damage you can see is ridiculous. Just as much damage as we were doing with Child there, in terms of his Hydro damage, just in general, with his just normal E attacks. I think we were getting the same damage from Beto's ultimate, stacked on top of official Oz doing damage, and stacked on top of official Oz's Constellation 6, would apply his extra Electro damage, basically. Um, and plus of that, we had a attack percentage buff from Bennett, uh, so we were doing even more damage. Uh, so it's just, it's a, uh, it's really good. <laughs> it's a really good team. All right. And for the final part of this video, we're going to go ahead and take this exact same team into Spiral Abyss. And we're just going to see how fast we basically kill everything. <laughs> All right. So to start off, as I said, we're going to drop Beto's ultimate, switch to Fischl, switch into Child, and just cause havoc, basically. Just, um... It's honestly just ridiculous. <laughs> we already killed nine enemies within the span of like five seconds. And then Beto, of course, being Beto, being broken. And then to finish it off here, we're going to drop Oz again. And then we should have our, yes, there is our ultimate up for Child. And there we go. And that's basically 13 enemies killed within, what, 40 seconds? Um, so yeah, I'd say this team gets a definite pass from me in Spiral Abyss, without a doubt in my mind. And that's going to do it for today's video. So thank you everyone also for 100 subscribers once again. It means the world to me. And I will continue to keep uploading if you guys keep watching, obviously. And let me know if you guys use this team down in the comment section down below. Let me know if you enjoyed the team. If you would rather run another character, let me know as well. And yeah, hope you guys all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Peace out.